Thank you so very much for joining us this morning. Let's also continue to um, follow up with the COVID-19 protocols. I would love to call up on stage the chairman of the committee planning of the MBA SBL conference in person of Mr. Adeleke Alex Adedikbe, who is a managing partner at Duale Ovia and Alex Adedikbe. A round so, of applause, please. Thank you so very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, ably represented by the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Onigbanjo. Our distinguished keynote speaker, Dr. Wendy Okolo, the Executive Secretary of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board, Engineer Simbi Wambote, the President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Olumide Akpata, my lords, learned senior advocates of Nigeria, colleagues, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored and humbled to deliver the address that opens this epoch-making occasion. This is a conference like no other. Our hybrid format reflects the challenges we have been through squaring off against the worst global humanitarian crisis of our lifetime. It also foretells a new and exciting beginning, demonstrating new possibilities that are available to us as a society when we embrace innovation. Whilst I'm delighted to welcome you all to the 15th Annual Business Law Conference of the Nigerian Bar Association section on business law, it gives me even greater pleasure to look to all seated present and those attending from every part of the world via live stream and say to you, welcome to the future. Not many get excited thinking or talking about the future these days. It is clear to see why. The manifold crisis of the past 18 months characterized by the socio-economic and political uncertainties that persist today paints tomorrow bleak. Lawyers trained to smell trouble from a mile away are having a nosebleed. And in the business sector where we put out fires even before they start, there just seems to be firecrackers going off everywhere. Yet, it is in these tough and turbulent times when the future scares more than it reassures that we must explore the positives of change and pursue the new possibilities for progress. Hence the theme of our conference, retooling business for change, leveraging the tech explosion couldn't be more apt. Interestingly, as we went about planning this year's conference, I realized that all the keywords in our theme for the year were particularly on loyalty terms. As custodians of a rich and noble tradition, Change is hardly our go-to word. Neither is tech, nor does any lawyer ever want their case or deal to explode. And tools, well, they used to be more applicable to engineers. It is a sign of how much the times have changed and how much the times have changed that we all find this theme relevant and critical to the value we create. Businesses depend on us to just, not to just to dot the I's and cross the T's, but to provide the frameworks that drive growth and make sense of a world in motion. We cannot fulfill this critical role without embracing the innovations of the 21st century. I have been accused for years by friends and professional colleagues of obsessing over technology. I plead that this obsession is healthy and necessary for every business lawyer in the 21st century. Technology doesn't diminish our profession or encumber the critical role we play in helping businesses thrive. Instead, it enhances what we do and more importantly, makes us even more relevant in these rapidly changing times. Indeed, this conference is a testament of how technology matches us forward. Whereas one could say that last year we held an e-conference as a stopgap response to health and safety restrictions on physical gathering. This year, our hybrid format is deliberate and strategic. On the other hand, it allows us to enjoy the best of both worlds getting back the irreplaceable value of good old human contact and joining in on a refreshing excitement of borderless interactions. On the other hand, this conference gives us an updated picture of what the business rooms increasingly look like. The conversations we will have over the next two days will explore these new realities in rich and enlightened detail. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have quite a lot to unpack in less than 48 hours. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to all our panelists, speakers, 
moderators, compares, and coordinators, without whose effort and contribution, we will not be having this conference. Lastly, before I step down from this podium, I must express my sincere appreciation to the NBA Council under the leadership of Mr. Ayuli Jemide for the trust and confidence reposed in me. In addition, contrary to the popular belief, the chairmanship of the conference planning committee is not a one person role. I had the entire conference planning committee supporting me every step of the way. Thanks to the outstanding commitment and support of every member, it has been an immeasurable and rewarding experience for me. And I believe every one of them, our sponsors deserve a full hearted appreciation as do our special guests and everyone gathered here in person and across the world. On behalf of the entire 2021 SBL Conference Planning Committee team, I thank you all and I wish you an inspiring and a successful conference. Welcome. Thank you so much.